all you Mi 11X, Redmi K40 and Poco F3 users out there, this time I have tried a MIUI based ROMs because mostly I try custom ROMs which are based on AOSP for this particular device that is a Mi 11X. This is very close to a flagship so I think it should give you very very good performance with that Snapdragon 870. What we are talking about is MIUI mod OG Global based on 12.5.6 Android 11 which is updated recently on the 1st of December 2021. We're going to talk about this update in brief. This is a quick review. I've ran the benchmarks. I've been using it on battery since this morning and stuff like that. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video and it doesn't cost you anything. Remember, it's free. So please subscribe. And if you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1300 people. You can join us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And if you want to support us, well, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so right off the bat, let's see what we have here. We have MIUI mod OG Global based on 12.5.6 updated today. Now, let's talk about the changelog. It's quite significant over here. MIUI mod OG, nothing. Haha. -ha. Uh, I didn't understand that. Some humor in there. Add support theme third party. Add full tweak for performance. Add thermal mod. Add MIUI home touch tweak. Add a 90 Hz option in display settings. That is good. Disable rounded if you're using resolution 1080 by 920. I don't know what that means. This is the rounded corner. Anyways, deep load super support screenshot on apps like Netflix. That's new. Smiley patcher mock location Pogo player welcome. Okay. Updated dialer to 12.3.0.5, 90 FPS in BGMI. That's a good thing and many more. So the Change log is pretty significant, I'll give them that. That's a good thing because they're making changes. And as you can see, this is an update which is around 2.4 gigabytes. Now remember, MIUI ROMs are generally three gigabytes. So this ROM right here, the moment you boot into it, if you've not installed all the applications like I have, you will notice that this is a very, very light and deep loaded ROM. I mean, heck, even I went to security, sorry, this is safety net. Uh, if you actually go to this, I'm actually getting confused because they've played with the icons and they've made, yeah, security is here. That's actually Apple Health, what they've put for security over here. Anyways, uh, there's some place over here, if you click there, yeah. So you get these game turbo, there you go. You have the new game space, right? So we'll talk about that. If we talk about the security application in general, you have the latest 5.6 so that they are picking up things from china beta which is a really really good thing you have these beautiful animations which are going to come in miui 13 which is really really neat uh i can't do it sorry and let's go over here you have quite a lot of applications like even if you look at the app locker you have the new ui hidden apps privacy if you click on privacy you have the new ui and all those things so a lot of uh, MIUI China based features are present because of course this ROM is based on MIUI China. So if you go to settings over here, go to about, you click here, does anything happen? No, MIUI version is this. You go to all specifications and you will see that you have the October security patch. So this is not the latest security patch that you have over here. So these guys have themed the icons to look like iOS, but you don't really have any new features in the camera. But let's go to settings over here. We'll talk about the things that they have actually added. So um, let's go to display and anti flicker mode is added, which is a good thing. It helps us YouTubers to shoot with more peace. You do have the 90 Hertz mode and the 120 Hertz mode. So that's good. They've added 90 Hertz gaming. They've unlocked 90 Hertz gaming. So that is another good thing. All the AI image engine things are present and they work absolutely fine over here. You have passwords and security, and then you have Special features over here, floating windows, second space, game turbo, video toolbox. So you do have the video toolbox over here and the new game turbo. We'll talk about that in a bit. So let's go to game video toolbox and manage video applications. Let's say put YouTube. Let's see the UI of the video toolbox over here. Oh, Dolby Atmos is on. That's a good thing. Yeah, so you have the new UI for your video toolbox and that works absolutely fine. The app icon animations are present and the moment you boot into the ROM, I said it's a very, very light ROM. 
which means that your Google feed will fly. It will just fly. It's extremely smooth on the Mi 11X on custom ROMs. And you have the MIUI 13 launcher. Let's go over here. You can arrange apps horizontally, already done. You can show apps in memory. As you can see over here, you have 2.7 gigabytes available. And if you go to additional settings, you do have memory extension. So eight gigabyte RAM variant of your device will give you three gigabytes of memory extension. Although I think this is a gimmick. It might not give you a boost in performance or something. Multitasking might be better. You do have a transparent Google search bar at the bottom with the, uh, we have assistant shortcuts. I don't see them, right? So all the MIUI apps are updated. They've removed the unwanted MIUI apps. You do have dedicated themes section over here. So let's go to themes. They just have one theme. So if you apply that, apply it successfully. Yeah, the theme doesn't change. Probably this is a bug or probably I am doing something wrong. But I'll tell you this, in this particular ROM, the smoothness of the UI is just brilliant. It works absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever across the entire UI. Now, let's quickly talk about the benchmark numbers. Before that, let's quickly have a look at gallery real quick. There you go. So you do have the updated gallery application. Sorry, I had to blur there, but CPU throttled to 95% of its max performance and 245, 495 GIPS is the score. So a very good score over here as far as the CPU throttle test is concerned. Let's go to Geekbench over here and let's see the Geekbench score. 995 single core, 337 at multi-core, a very good score there. So the performance optimization is present in this particular ROM. And then if you talk about the Antutu numbers, 681, 438, rock solid Antutu numbers as well. Now I've not tried gaming on this particular ROM and from the looks of it, this is a really, really good ROM. You can definitely go ahead and give it a try if you want the latest update with some customizations and modifications. It boots fast, it charges fine. Let me show you the battery life so far real quick. If you go to battery and performance, the thing that's missing over here is the battery toggle. So let's see here. Screen on time 1 hour 34 minutes and we are still at around 79%. So all in all, rock solid smooth ROM. You can definitely give it a try unless you find any issues. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.